Hello friends, this video on areas related to circles part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. Let's take one more example. We have this uh, square O, A, B, C and in this we have this quadrant O, A is 20, this length is 20 known to us. We have to find the area of the shape. Now, how to get the radius? That is the tricky part because we need this value. How to get radius? We can do one thing. We can just join this. Guy. This is the most trickiest part in this. The moment you join this, if you know this triangle, this is 20, this is 20, this is a right triangle, you can find the value of OB. OB is nothing but radius because OB is radius, OB is equal to OP is equal to because it's a quadrant given. Right? So OB is my radius. Once I have radius, I can find the area of the quadrant and I can subtract the area of the, uh, of the square to get the area of shaded region. Correct. So area, first let's find the radius. So we'll say OB is nothing but root of OA square plus AB square. Correct. That is root of 20 square plus 20 square. That is 20 root 2 is the radius. Therefore my radius is 20 root 2 centimeter. So once I have radius, once I have radius, what I can do is area of shaded region SR is nothing but area of quadrant minus area of square. What is area of quadrant? 1 by 4 pi r square. 1 by 4 pi is 22 by 7. R is 20 root 2. 20, 20 root 2. Minus area of square. What is the area of square? Side into side. Correct. So if we solve this properly, what we will get is 220. Not solving it. This will be centimeter square because I am talking about area and I am talking about in some centimeter. This is centimeter square and that is my answer. Let us take one more example. A, B and C, D are respectively two arcs. A, B and C, D are two arcs of the circle of radius 7 and 21 cm respectively. If o, A, O, B is 30 degree, we have to find the area of shared region. Very simple question. We have done this so many times. So area of shared region will be nothing but area of this bigger sector A, O, B and area of smaller sector C, O, D. Subtract it, get the area. So we will say area of shared region is nothing but theta by 360 into pi r2 square minus r2 square. Why? Pi r2 square is the bigger shade of your AOB area and COD area is uh, theta th by 360 into pi r1 square. So if we put the value 30 degree by 360 degree into pi is 22 by 7 and r1 square is 21 square minus 7 square. So all this, this becomes 12. So this becomes 1 by 12 into 22 by 7. A square minus B square is A plus B into A minus B. 21 plus 7 is 28. And 21 minus 7 is 14. So this gets cancelled. 2. This is 6. This is 3. This is 11. So you get 3 not 8 by 3. Since we are talking in terms of centimeter, talking about area. So it is centimeter square. This is my area. Very simple. Let's take one more question. We have to think a little bit in this. ABC is a quadrant of a circle with radius 14 cm. So ABC is a quadrant with radius 14. So this is 14 and this is 14 and this is 9 degree. Correct. Now a semicircle is drawn with BC as diameter. BC as diameter, one more semicircle is drawn. We have to find the area of the shaded region. How we can do? See, finding area of this is easy. Sector is easy because we have this angle, we have this radius. So since we have this length, we can find BC also. So let's find BC first. So BC will be nothing but root of AB square plus AC square. That is root of 14 square plus 14 square. It is 14 root 2. So this is 14 root 2. This is 7 root 2 and this is 
seven root two. Correct. So let me put this point over. So OB is seven root two and OC is seven root two. Now we have to find area of shaded region. To find area of shaded region, what we can do, we can find the area of the same circle. Let me name this M, B, M, C, the semicircle, and then if we find the area of the segment, subtract it, we get this area of the shaded region. So we have to find the area of segment first. So first, let me find the area of segment. Let me call this area as one. So area of segment one is nothing but area of quadrant. Minus area of triangle ABC. This we have done so many times. Area of you get the area of quad, uh, quadrant. You subtract the area of triangle, get the area of segment. This is nothing but area of quadrant will be one by four pi r square. Pi is twenty two by seven. R is fourteen into fourteen. And area of triangle is one by two into fourteen into fourteen. So this gets cancelled. Seven to fourteen two two. The answer is eleven. So fourteen into eleven is one fifty four minus this becomes seven. Seven into fourteen is ninety eight. Correct. So this is the area of the segment, and this is fifty six centimeter square. Talking about centimeter, talking about area, centimeter square. So I have got the area of the segment. Now I have the area of the segment. If I get the area of the whole semicircle, subtract the area of segment to get the area of shaded region. So I'll say area of shaded region is nothing but area of semicircle B O C M minus area of segment one. So area of semicircle is nothing but one by two pi r square one by two. Pi is twenty-two by seven. R in this case is seven root two. Correct. So it is seven root two into seven root two minus area of segment fifty-six. We already found seven seven cancel. Root two root two becomes two cancel. Correct. So this becomes one fifty-four minus fifty-six, and this comes out to be ninety-eight. Since we are talking about area in centimeter, so it is centimeter square, and that is my answer. Not that difficult. Just you have to think a little bit. You have to find area of shaded region. So you get the area of the semicircle. Subtract the area of the segment to get the area of the shaded region. Let's take the last example. We have to find the area of the design the ratio, uh, region, and this is common between two quadrants. So from here. If you draw the circle, this is one quadrant. From this point, if you draw the circle, this is one more quadrant. You have to find this region area. So, if you break down this question, what we can do is we draw this line here. It's very, things becomes very easy for us. Just draw this line here. This straight line, not even draw straight line. Just assume it is a straight line. This is a straight line. So, if you see this, this area is nothing but area of a segment. And we know how to find area of segment. Area of sector minus area of the triangle get the area of segment. So this is one area. Similarly, for this area is again area of segment for this quadrant. Finding this is also simple. You take this uh, quadrant area minus area of the triangle to get the area of segment. So logically, if you see area of uh, design is nothing but area of one plus area of two. By symmetry, both are same. Area of one is equal to area of two. Nothing but area of one. So we'll say two into area of one. So let's find the area of one segment. So area of segment is nothing but area of segment one is nothing but area of quadrant minus area of triangle. Let me name this A B C triangle A B C. Correct. So area of quadrant we know is nothing but One by four pi r square. One by four into two by seven. R is eight into eight minus area of triangle. One by two into b into h. B is eight. H is also eight. So this will be the my my area of uh, segment one. 
So if you solve this further, this becomes 352 by 7 minus, this gets cancelled, 4 minus 3. This is my area of segment 1. So area of design I know is nothing but twice of area of segment. This becomes 2 into 352 by 7 minus 30. So if you solve this further, this comes out to be 256 by 7. Solve this further, it comes out to be 256 by 7. Since it is in centimeter, talking about area, so it is centimeter square. And that is my answer. Very simple. What I have done, I have just found that there are two segments. Actually, found area of one segment. Total area is twice into area of this segment. And we got the. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos. Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.